everyone. Today I'm going to talk about water dispensing vending machine and how to design it using Verilog hardware descriptive language. So first of all, let us try to understand the question. Design a vending machine which is a water bottle dispenser that dispenses a bottle of water based on the amount deposited in the machine. It accepts only three types of coins that is nickel 5 cents, dime 10 cents and quarter 25 cents till it receives 40 cents. It won't dispense anything. After it has received 40 cents, it will dispense one water bottle. One person can operate this at one time. For this question, we need to sketch the FSM state diagram for this design. Also write its very log code and very log test bench to verify its functionality. So in this question we are having a water bottle dispenser that dispenses a bottle of water based on amount deposited in the machine and it can accept only three coins that is nickel five cents dime whose value is 10 cents and quarter its value is 25 cents and the total amount that it's going and at 40 cents as soon as your total reaches 40 cents it will deposit a water bottle and till that it won't dispense anything so we need to now insert the coins in such a way that the that different combinations of coins make the sum to 40. so take a look here you are having a 5 cent coin a 10 cent coin and a 25 cent coin so one possibility of getting a water bottle or one possibility of inserting the coins is if you insert five I mean eight five cent coins that is if your total will be 40 and this is exactly the amount we want that the amount that is required by the vending machine to dispose a water bottle another combination is another possibility is if you insert four coins of 10 cents it will give you the answer 40 here when and now it is not possible here because 25 if you insert two coins of 25 it will give you a total of 50 which is 10 more than the required so while designing a vending machine we also need to take care of these kinds of possibilities like you have inserted two coins of 25 cents now the vending machine should also be capable of returning the change that is returning the balance so these three and um, so uh, as soon as you uh, what you can say for as soon as the total reaches 40 and uh, as soon as it reaches the 40 it will dispense a water bottle and also it will give you the output as give you the balance 10 this is not the only combination suppose if you insert two coins of five and three coins of 10 cents so it will be five to the 10 three to the 40 and there are numerous combinations there are many many combinations we need to take consider all those combinations and write a very low code in such a way that at any combination it shouldn't be stuck and it should be able to dispose a water bottle dispense water bottle and also return the change if the required total is exceeding first of all let us consider a recent state that is this is the initial state this is the state and you have to consider in each and every uh, FSM that you are going to design. Okay, reset state. That means this is the state when you have not entered any single coin of any value. <coughs> the next state what we are considering it is S5. That is since the lowest currency is 5 cents, we are going to uh, draw the state diagrams five five states that the difference between the two states will be five cents okay 
if you are on a resist state, if you are on a state where you have not inserted any coin, and if you insert a nickel coin, you will reach to S5, else you will remain at that stage. Now let us consider another state known as S10. The possibility of reaching S10 is either you can enter a dime coin directly or you can enter two nickel coins. That makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, sorry. Now, we are, let's move to S15, then S20, S25, S30, S35, S40, till we reach S60. Now, why did I choose only till S60? This is a trial and error method. You can check for all the possibilities. That is, if your total is exceeding, you know, 20 times more, or if your total is exceeding more than 20 times, you can still try to increase the states. But in this example, I've tried it, and I'll get the maximum possible after the maximum possible combinations I put. The might sum will only exceed 20 more than the required sum. Now first consider, let's consider whatever the arrow marks I'm going to draw about nickel. I'm going to uh, denote it with a green color. As you can see, the nickel is the state path for nickel is very simple. That is, you just have to move 5 by states ahead. That is, a nickel coin inserted here, it will move to S5, S10, S15. That is, it is like inserting 8 nickel coins. Next is after you reach S40, your output will be 1 and the balance will be 0. That is, you will get a bottle bottle, but you will not get any change because whatever you have put is the exact S40, that is, exact chain, exact sum. Now, let us consider whatever arrows I'm going to draw about dime is in yellow in color. Now from reset we go to S10. If you insert a dime coin you will directly reach to S10. From here if you insert a dime coin you will reach to S20 then from till S20. S30, S40 then as soon as you reach S40 your output will be 1 and the balance will be 0. But this is not the only, com only possible combination. Suppose you have inserted a nickel coin from here also you can insert a dime coin you will that will take you s15 then again s25 then s35 now if you insert a nickel coin you will get s40 but if you insert a dime coin again it will take you to s45 that means your output will be one no doubt but your balance will be five because it is five more than the required amount Similarly, if you consider a quarter, if you start from quarter, if you start from reset and insert a 25 cent coin, you will reach 25. From S25, then you can reach, and if you insert another quarter coin, you will reach to S50. Your output will be 1, but your balance will be 10. Now, if you insert a quarter coin from the state S5, you will reach S30. Then to S55, your output will be 1 and the balance will be 15. Now, if you start from S10, you will reach S35. And another 25 coin, you will reach S60. Your output will be 1 and balance will be 20. Now, if you start from S15, you will directly reach to S40. That means from this stage you will not enter another coin that will take you to a state which is more than S60, right? So the maximum possible state that you're going to reach is S60. After you reach S40, you will be given the output as 1 and the balance is 0. Similarly, if you start from S20, you will reach to S45. Your output will be 1 and balance will be 5.
I know this looks a little bit complicated, but it's very easy if you try to understand it. Just make sure that you insert each and every coin from each and every possible state. Like we inserted nickel coin from each state, right? And we finally reached S40 and we did not feel the need to insert another nickel coin from S40. We inserted the dime coin from each and every possible state. And it took us to various states till S45. That was the limit. For quarter also we tried to insert it from each and every state possible. And that took us to S60, the maximum possible state. So if you try this, it's very easy. If you understand this, it's very simple. Now, to write its very log code and its very log test bench and to understand its functionality, I will make another video. You will see that in part two. And if you like this explanation, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.